What's good everyone, it's your boy Yadig, 4 eyes 2 js here, and today we're here to talk about Tiger. Now, Tiger recently dropped his brand new single Vacation, however it has come out that apparently he's buying streams and faking numbers for this. Now how I'm going to show you guys and kind of prove this to you guys, is show you the Spotify streams, the Apple Music streams, and the iTunes downloads to show you guys some very, very suspicious numbers, as well as accounts on Twitter who are saying that people are hacking their Spotify and playing the song on repeat. So, I want to dive into it, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, just for some context and kind of prove to you guys that this isn't anything new, I want to talk about this right here, where French Montana got accused of the very same thing that Tiger is doing right now about six months ago. And in this case, people were pointing to some very interesting discrepancies between the Spotify and Apple Music charts, as well as people taking to Twitter and saying, hey, my Spotify is being hacked and it keeps playing French Montana's music, obviously without their permission since they were being hacked. Okay, so that's kind of like the backstory. Now let's get to Tiger's numbers. As you can see right here, this is the most recent data we have access to. And I want to point out that this is all specifically for the US numbers. So as you can see right here on the Spotify daily charts and the Spotify streaming numbers, we have Vacation by Tiger at number 24 with 546,000 streams. That's fair enough. That's not too suspicious in and of itself. Definitely, Tiger's hot. He can do numbers like this. But where it gets a little bit more interesting is where we have a look at the Apple Music music charts. So on the Apple music charts, as you can see right here, I've searched for vacation, the song's name, and it's come up with zero out of zero results. So that means out of the 1,393 top songs on Apple music, the 24th biggest song on Spotify isn't on the charts. That literally makes zero sense whatsoever and is basically impossible. How can a song be the 24th biggest on one streaming platform and not within the top 1,400 on another? Okay, that's very suspicious. Now let's move on to the iTunes charts, where this takes into account the biggest 1,500 songs on the iTunes charts. And again, I've searched for vacation, but it's not coming up. So again, I just want to run through this. So on the Spotify charts, it's number 24. On the Apple Music charts, it's not within the top 1,393. And then with the iTunes charts, it's not within the top 1,500. And I feel like that in and of itself just proves something fishy is going wrong. Because again, going back to the French Montana claims, this was the exact exact same thing going on right here, where in the Spotify charts it was number 21, but somehow on the Apple Music charts it was 1192. And to just flesh out this point a bit more about the differences between the Apple Music and the iTunes charts, somehow Taste, which isn't on the Spotify top 200 charts at all right now, is at 544 on the Apple Music charts and is also at 1338 on the iTunes charts right now. So somehow Taste, a song that isn't in the top 200 songs on Spotify within the US right now, is in both of these charts. Whereas Vacation is number 24 on the Spotify Top 200 and isn't in these at all. That simply just does not add up. Now, back to what I was saying about the French Montana when there were multiple people coming out and saying that their accounts were getting hacked and that they were playing the song again and again. Let's take to Twitter and have a look at various tweets from people about their accounts being hacked and playing Tiger's song, Vacation. Spotify got hacked by someone with horrendous music taste for the past two days. Oh, what do you know? They were playing Vacation. Another one, my Spotify keeps jamming my jams mid song to Vacation by Tiger. I'm not gonna read out all of these, but you see, keep playing Tiger, Spotify hacked, whoever hacked my Spotify and decided to play Vacation by Tiger. Again, someone hacked my Spotify, first choice was Tiger. Again, one more here, two more here, three more here. They all say the same thing. The Spotify accounts are getting hacked and what do they decide to play? Vacation by Tiger. Isn't that a bit suspicious that that's the song number 24 on the Spotify charts right now, but somehow isn't in the Apple Music or the iTunes charts? Top 1500 songs. So, yeah, we can see right there that there is definitely, definitely something suspicious going on right now with Tiger and this song right here. I don't know why Tiger's decided to do this because we've seen him in the past couple of years just have hits on hits just off the strength of the songs. So I don't think Tiger necessarily needs to buy streams, but it's one of those things where obviously if Tiger and French Montana are doing it, who knows how many artists have done this in the past or are still doing it right now. And we just don't have the data to back it up. I mean, we all hear about streaming farms and people faking streams, but in cases like these, we have the very suspicious numbers where really the only logical conclusion to make is that they're buying streams in some way, shape or form. 
But yeah, I just wanted to make this video and talk about it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And before we finish this video, guys, I want to give a couple quick shout outs from the Instagram. Shout out to Mr. Clark underscore 777. And shout out to my skateboard to follow me over on my Instagram. Appreciate you guys. If you guys don't follow your boy at your dick, make sure to. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good YouTube stuff. And there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Make sure to check them out if you haven't.